everyone, Sarah back for Color Rush Studio and I am sharing a layout with the new kit this month, Be The Rainbow. And I am using some of the wood veneers on this portion. I thought I was going to use both pieces of this. I do decide against it. Um, but this is a picture of my daughter and I love the wood veneers. They're so cute. And it just says smile. And then I did a bunch of fussy cutting out of some of the gorgeous papers that were put in this kit as well because they are exclusive to Color Rush Studio. And they are so pretty. Um, I did some fussy cutting when I first got this kit. And I am still using a bunch of the fussy cut pieces. And um, I'm just going to layer them from top to bottom. Like I said, I thought I was going to use that other uh, wood veneer piece, but I'll save it for another layout. And that's okay. Um, but this is also another portion that I had fussy cut out. One of the papers has a bunch of pretty little leaf pieces on it. And um, I fussy cut some of those to add behind my florals as well. That way it just added a little more to the layouts. I guess just a little more to the florals. So I even have pieces that are little bitty and partially cut and I'm using those. I thought I was going to use some of these circles that I had punched out and I decide against it. Um, but I did punch out a bunch of these other little circles and I am going to use them here and there and just add, uh, add a little bit of the color into the layout um, in different spots where there's not some of the blue or not some of the yellow or pink or whatever. Just so that it's kind of spread out a little more. Um, and I'm going to start gluing some of these down and pretty much like I always do. One, I am kind of curling the edges of the leaves. Um, I decided to add an extra one in there. And uh, I will just glue the centers of all of these down so that they come up off the page. And if I decide I want to tuck more in, I can. Um, that is a huge plus of just adding the adhesive to the center. But these pieces are just so pretty. And they can stay as large clusters like this if you want. Or you can cut them apart if you want and have smaller, just individual florals as well. I just chose to keep it this way right now. Um, we'll see what I decide to do, you know, with my next layout. But I am just tucking little bits here and there behind everything. Just making my clusters and stuff. Well, I guess technically it's not a cluster. It goes from top to bottom. <laughs> but I love the background paper as well with that beautiful rainbow, like, mixed media look to it. Um, so I'm just building on top of all that and I'm going to continue adding things until I'm happy with where they're at and then I'll glue my photo down and then keep adding things <laughs> because why not? So um, at this point I have everything stuck down I believe um, and so I'm trying to decide if I'm going to add some more circles and I do. I'll go ahead and add a couple more leaves as well just tuck it in right there add some glue to the back of my photo and stick it down in the middle of everything just where I had it because I want that front and center and it just your line go your eye <laughs> excuse my mouth goes from top to bottom and the photo's right there in the center so I love that it's the only thing that's black and white on here it's the only piece of wood veneer that's on here as well so it kind of is the odd thing out and it kind of draws your eye in at least that's how I feel about it um, I'm also going to grab these cute little flowers that you can, that you get, um, in the kit and you can also buy separately in the shop. Um, and I'm going to add those to the center of some of my other florals. Um, I tried to stick this in, it didn't work. So I went ahead and just cut off the greenery and stuck those in instead. Um, and then as you can see to the right hand side, I fussy cut a lot of butterflies out because yet again, another gorgeous paper that comes in this kit. Um, so I went ahead and fussy cut a bunch of those. And so I'll be using some of those as well. Um, I am going to stick something over the blue floral here, the little flower that I'm sticking down because of the fact that it is on the edge of that frame. It's a little harder to keep it flat to stick down correctly. So this is just going to sit here for a minute. I use my circle punches like this a lot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stick some butterflies here and there around the page. I mean, because butterflies are always flying around flowers. So I figured why not? And they're gorgeous. So yes, please. Um, this layout came together super, super fast, especially since I already had so many things pre fussy cut. I mean, it was just something that I sat and did one night because it was just gorgeous and I wanted to play with it. Um, <laughs> so I went ahead and did that. And like I said, I'm going to add a couple butterflies here and there. I'll add another, at least one more here in a minute. And then you'll also see me grab um, my stickles from my stash. And I have got to wash out the tip of that 
because I have some issues with it, which you'll see. Um, I don't think I left a ton of that in there because I think, honestly, messing with my stickles is what took the longest with this layout. 100% it took the longest with this layout. So as you see, I had to take the top off and I have a needle over there and I cut some of it out, but I keep having to go back and stick the needle in it and clean it out. I just didn't have it sitting right um, in my stash. I found it laying over and so stuff dried and it keeps going back into it, but I was being, I guess, lazy. I didn't want to go and <laughs> wash it out right now. I wanted to finish my layout because I was enjoying what I was doing. Um, but I'm putting some stickles in the center of a bunch of my florals, putting them down the center of my butterflies and along the wings so there's some sparkle. And that's pretty much what I do and it will finish out this layout. Make sure to go and grab the kit from the shop. It's gorgeous. There's tons of fussy cutting um, possibilities within this kit as you see with my layout. Um, but if you don't want a fussy cut, you don't have to either. But the papers are beautiful as are the embellishments. Thanks so much for watching. You have a great day.